Tom, a new four-year contract with the Rhinos. Uh, you must be delighted to have it all sorted. Yeah, I am. Yeah, buzzing. Uh, wanted it for a long time, took a bit to get sorted, but I'm yeah, really happy with it now. Last year was tough for you with the injury and everything else, but do, do you feel like you're getting your just rewards now? Yeah, that's behind me and I'm ready to push on and leave a mark on this first first team, yeah. And the length of the contract as well, it's your first big contract as a, as a senior player, uh, that must give you confidence going forwards? Yeah, I'm committing to the squad and I want to do big things for Leeds, so yeah, I'm ready. How much of it is, is down to this group of players and wanting to achieve something together? I know, I know a lot of lads are signing long-term deals, you want to achieve something special together? Yeah, that's it, there's a lot of drive at the club at the moment and we're aiming for big things and I don't think we'll stop until we get it. In terms of yourself going into into this pre-season, uh, how, how are you finding it the first couple of weeks? Yeah, settling in nicely. We've got quite a few young lads and uh, new lads coming in. So, yeah, we're settling in, getting his base and then we're building up. And mixing things up we're here at the Carnegie School of Sport, uh, you're doing a few sessions up here as well. Is that helping, freshen things up? Yeah, change around and the facilities are spot on here, aren't they? So, yeah, couldn't get any better. Best facilities, hopefully, uh, help us thrive. As someone who's come through the ranks at the Rhinos, how much does it mean to you to, to have signed a long-term deal with the club? Yeah, it's a, it's a big thing because I've dreamt about it for a, a long time and I want to play for Leeds. It's a, I love this team, so yeah, it's a big thing. And we've seen the, the next generation of young lads coming through, Jack Sinford, Ollie Fields, Max Simpson coming in. Is that making you feel a bit old? The, the no, no, not yet. It's still, it's still a young pup, but you know, we've, got, we've got some good young lads and we're hopefully a keeper's on the toes for a fair few years. And there's great competition for place now in, in the squad. Is that keeping everyone uh, fired up during pre-season? I think so. I think pre-season you're all ready to prove something. Everyone's got something to prove every year. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we're all we're all competing for that spot, are we? We've got a few few games in pre-season, starting with Wait for on Boxing Day. Uh, you hoping to be involved in that? Yeah, hopefully so. I definitely want to be playing in that game. And, yeah, I want to be throwing a mix of every game if I can, so... Mm. And a, a good performance in that really puts a marker down for, for, for Richard and for Sean and, and, and Jonesy to, to have a look at and, and get into that that's the first 17 against Warrington. Yeah, that's it. I'm out to prove a point and just just ready to kick on and make this year mine. Physically, do you think you'll be you you even more ready than ever for, for what's what's to come in Super League this year? Yeah, definitely, definitely ready. Obviously, Richard Alex has come in as uh, performance director. What's, uh, what have you spoken to him about? What your goals are for, for this pre-season? Have you got things that you're working on? Just kick on, lean up, get bigger, stronger, fitter, faster. So, yeah, there's plenty of things to work on. And in terms of uh, the, the squad as a whole, it, pleased with, with where we're at. Obviously, Dave Fuster is the last guy to come in, but there's big numbers in training that must help. Yeah, well, we've we've made some quality signings on on a team that's already a good team, isn't it? So hopefully we'll be competing for the trophies like like we need to be. And you've had a few years now in, in the first team squad. Is there anyone particularly in the group who, who's been a, a real mentor for you that's helped you get to uh, to this stage? Uh, yeah, there's been a few lads over the years. I picked up Don Crosby helped me out a lot a few years ago with my injuries and stuff. So yeah, he's, yeah, but pretty much all the lads you can have a chat with and they'd help you out. Do you find yourself now with, with the younger lads, uh, giving a bit of mentoring to them to help, help them? Yeah, it's just a conversation isn't it, at the end of the day, so just a few words can go a long way with, with a young lad, what I found anyway. And just I've taken you away there from a, an intense table tennis game. Uh, yeah. Uh, is, is that a secret skill of Tom Oliver not been aware of? Yeah, there's plenty of them. I'll be going back in to clean up now, so uh, yeah, <laughs> get back in mix.